Welcome to Coffee with Biking. I am Mike, also known as the Biking. Cheers. In today's devotion, Living History. Luke 24, 6. He is not here, but is risen. Why is it that the biographies of so many others are believed when they were written long after their deaths? Alexander the Great's biography, for instance, was written 400 years after he died. So its author obviously never knew him, but Alexander's legacy lives on while people doubt the life of Christ as documented by the gospel writers who walked with Jesus. And Jesus, just like Alexander the Great, actually greater than Alexander the Great, left an even greater legacy. And you could still feel his presence. So I really don't get how there is so much denying that he is there, that he is risen, that he is with us. Many people down through the centuries never had a record of their own births, yet the existence of Jesus is revealed in an <clears throat> intricate genealogy recorded in the Bible that has stood the test of time. And it's still going strong to this day. It is still the top-selling book in the world. You will never meet Alexander the Great in this life because he is dead. But you can meet Jesus Christ in this life because he lives. And if you meet him in spirit in this life, and by the next one, you will meet him face to face when he leads you in through those pearly gates. But the choice is yours. The marks of his sacrifice on the cross are found in human hearts. Most gravestones bear the words, here lie the remains of... But from Christ's tomb came the living words of an angel declaring, He is not here, but is risen. Jesus' tomb in history is history's only empty grave. And I believe to this day, it still is. There is no questioning it in my heart. I know he lives, I know he's risen, and I know his Holy Spirit lives right here, and here, and in my soul, as well as in so many others, hearts, minds, and souls. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And have a blessed and wonderful day.